Hi friends, myself Premon and Play. Welcome to my channel. Today I got a new switch D Link. You can see here the configurations. Okay, this one is a new kit. This is the one. Spot it now. Now you can see here the ports. And this is the power cable. Okay. I'm just connecting the power cable to the power supply. You can see here, this is power supply. I have a power source here. It's a 16 ampere plug. I just put that on the power plug. You can see here, it's blinking. It will take a while okay now i need a laptop and a cable this is the cable i will connect that to the first port and i will connect the same to the laptop now you can see now also it is configuring okay now I have the catalog with me. Okay. Now I will find out what is the default username and password. You can see this is the default IP, the subnet, and the username and password. Now I will go to the run and type ncpa.cpl. Press enter. Here it is. Now I will click on the Ethernet and here is the properties and i will go to my pc and put an ip here the same one you can see 90 was the switch ip now i will put 91 on the laptop okay then that's a small trick just type ping Ten dot ten dot ninety the IP of the switch. Okay. If you are getting a replay from the switch, that means you are good to go. Okay. Now just go to your browser. Now I have Firefox. I'm just opening that up. I'm putting the IP here. You will get a login page. Just type A D M I N. Here it is, standard mode. I will go to the ignore the wizard and click on next. And I will put an IP here. What about the static IP? I need to put on that. 136 I just put the subnet and IP address of my network which I am connecting this switch click on next and put the password here I just put the IP now I will click on next and I think it is good I don't need SMP SNMP just go to apply and click on ok now you must know that I just changed the IP of this switch so the IP is changing and the connection will be broken after a while now you can see this is the IP default IP and now it will show that the connection was reset that means you can see here the ping option it's gone for that you need another thing again go to ncpa and type enter and go to the properties 
then go to advanced and add the new series IP here okay then click on okay 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 then close then close then again ping I just put the IP here and again I will go to ping this is a IP of the switch now you can see it's pinging that means the connection is established now I will put the same IP here now this time it will be on HTTP full colon slash slash the IP of the switch don't put HTTPS okay again you must put the password you just put on the switch not now okay now it's open I need to create a VLAN here this is a default one and I need to untag all and only tag the first and the 28 this is for the configuration purpose only okay I just go to first one and 28 as untagged and all others are not a member this is the default one now I will made or add an another what should I provide okay I am just putting this as 2015 and I am just putting a VLAN name data okay data VLAN whatever it is it is suggesting some names I just put VLAN and now I will tag the first one as a member and all the ports I need to enable I just put as and tagged okay the port I am selecting will be tagged to the 2015 VLAN okay I'm just providing 15 ports the first one is for configuration and the 28th one for configuration that one is also tagged now I will apply okay here is this there is a save configuration just go to save configuration and save okay continue then go to system and there is port settings okay now I will go to 17th port 17 port and I will select 27th one okay 17 to 27 I need to disable I don't want to use these ports that's why I am just disabling these ports now I need to enable the HTTPS this is the secure one so I need to enable the secure one for browsing okay I will go to SSH SSH okay not this one actually it is SSL sorry I just want to enable that and apply you will get a message are you sure to enable SSL the HTTP server will be disabled okay no issue okay no issue it's gone now now I need to I need to enable HTTPS full colon slash slash 136 okay now there is a security risk no issue I'm just mm -hmm. waiting my consent here you can see accept the risk and continue now I need to put my password here that I created when I configured this search now you can see here
okay now the configuration is fine i will check that in my network now i just connect my switch to the network it will boot a while now you can see the port gone up this is the third one i just use this first one for configuration and the 28 one for configuration i just connect my first the second port to my network and third one to my laptop now i will ping the gateway this is my gateway that means my circuit is okay now i want to check is it working or not you can go to the browser and check that and the next one is i just disabled the port from 21 no the 17 port okay i need to check that one also the 17 one is enable or disabled let's connecting okay that means the port is disabled sorry the 17 port is not disabled that means the ports are not disabled and but the gateway is not getting that means it is not it have no access to the vlan 2015 that means i need to check what's wrong with my configuration i just put the ip here and just press enter it is not opening it is not opening because you can see it is https i need to convert that to http now you can see I just changed that to HTTP. It's not secure. Again, I am going to port settings. I will select 17, 17 port to 27 port. Okay, just select 17 to 27 and select disable. I just apply it. Okay, now you can see here it's all disabled now i will go to security again and i will go to ssl okay i will enable that i think we just forgot to save the configuration after that i am going to save configuration okay then i need to go to https otherwise it is not working i'm just typing http yes full colon slash slash the ip okay again it is logging in before powering off the switch you need to save the configuration otherwise it is not saving automatically i'm just putting my password here okay i need i don't want to save the password to my browser not now okay after completing everything now you can see here i am just opening that on https okay i done everything now i will go to the save configuration it is taking a while okay do you want to save this one Yes, I am saving the configuration. Okay, successfully saved. Continue. Okay, it means everything is good. Now I am connecting the cable from my network. I'm just connecting that to the second port. Okay it's connected you can see here now i will connect my laptop on my third third to 16 is enabled you can connect from here to here this is the final one and from here i just disabled the port except 28 okay now i will go to my laptop and ping my gateway and my pc it is 28 now it is pinging that means it's fine now i will check each and every port 
I will check the 15th one. Now the port is up. Yeah, it's fine. And I just want to check the 17th one. I just disabled that one. Yes, it's disabled. It's also disabled. Okay, I need to check the 28 port also. Is it fine or not? Yeah, it's enabled, no issue. Okay, the first, the first one and the 28th one for configuration. Whenever I need to configure uh, anything to the switch, I will connect my cable to the 28th port or the first port. The second to 17 is enabled, 16 is enabled. I can access the uh, VLAN, whichever I created. Uh, I will get from this port to this. And after that, it is disabled. Now you can see it is pinging. That means my switch configuration is correct. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you very much.